Our research group at Penn State is called the Laboratory for Nature Inspired Engineering, in which we take ideas from nature and create new materials. Then we use these materials to discover new science or explore novel engineering applications. The light sleeve can repel bigger water droplets, but it can be flooded in vapor or steam. Also, the surface will lose its water repelling function if there is falling. In this research, our group has developed a new type of liquid repellent material, known as slippery rough surface. This surface combines the unique surface architectures of the lotus leaf and pitcher plant. To make such a surface, we create micro nano textures and apply lubricant around the textures to create a highly slippery surface. Such a surface enables a number of technologic applications and scientific discoveries that cannot be made possible by the conventional superhydrophobic surface. Our slippery rough surface has the potential to improve condensation heat transfer for power plant heat exchangers, create a more efficient water harvesting system in the arid regions, and prevent icing and frosting on the aircraft winds. Liquid droplets on rough surfaces are typically in either Cassie or Wenzel state. In the Cassie state, the droplets are floating on a layer of air. And in the Wenzel state, the droplets are in full contact with the surface textures. On the conventional rough surfaces, the Cassie state droplets are mobile, but the Wenzel state droplets are highly pinned. On our slippery rough surface, both the KC and the Wenzel state droplets are mobile. Scientifically speaking, slippery rough surfaces are a tool to let us reevaluate the existing understanding of wetting in the Wenzel state. An important parameter in understanding wetting is the apparent contact angle. The apparent contact angle for any given fluid can be altered with surface roughness. Existing models for Wenzel wetting, most notably Wenzel's equation, aim to describe the apparent contact angle as a function of roughness for a given fluid. Until now, however, researchers haven't been able to validate these equations because droplets in the um, Wenzel state are associated with um, large upper and lower bounds for the apparent contact angle measurements. Our slippery rough surfaces, however, allow us to greatly reduce the upper bound and greatly raise the lower bound on these measurements. This allows us to make more precise um, measurements of the apparent contact angle. Our slippery rough surfaces have allowed us to measure the apparent contact angle with the highest precision to date. And we found that the Wenzel equation actually breaks down for um, highly wetting fluids. Our results call for a new unified model of wetting in the Wenzel state for all droplets and all surface roughnesses where the Wenzel state exists.